Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Sophia University. Uh, my name is Tetsuo Morishita, uh, Vice President for Global Academic Affairs. And I'm also a professor of law. Uh, the law of Vice President is various, but one of the, some of them. First, uh, I'm in charge of uh, student mobility programs and also uh, the networking uh, of with uh, various foreign universities. Actually, I have just returned uh, from this one uh, this morning. Uh, so I'm very happy that I can make it. Okay, from my side, uh, from me, I would like to provide seven points I believe useful for you to make the choice. Why, Sophia? First, the first point is the location. As we, already you have experienced, uh, the location of Sophia University is excellent. The university is a place that uh, you have spent a lot of time for four years or more, so the location is very important. Uh, we have uh, various, uh, for example, the, for the daily commute or various activities, for them to meet people or start over club activities or job hunting, hunting activities. These locations uh, will make it possible for you to make the best of your time. Uh, let's see, briefly see the four seasons at Sofia campus. April, uh, it is the beginning of the spring semester, and uh, you will be welcomed by very beautiful cherry blossoms. And uh, the right side is the picture of the freshman week, where the existing uh, students welcome the freshman. And July, uh, there is a regular sports event, uh, with Nanzan University. Nanzan University is another Catholic university located in Nanza, uh, Nagoya. Actually, uh, two years ago, uh, two weeks ago, uh, there was a Sofia Nanzan Sports Festival, and fortunately, uh, Sofia won. <laughs> and also, uh, there's a Yukata Festival. Uh, where this is an event uh, organized, uh, planned and, and organized by students. And on um, every Friday, one Friday, uh, every, most students come uh, with Yukata. And uh, in, the end of the, in the end of July, uh, we have the spring semester exam. And from August, uh, August and September is a season for summer recess. In the end of, uh, in the end of September, we'll have the entrance, of, entrance ceremony uh, of uh, uh, semester, uh, fall, uh, fall semester. And from the end of final week of September to the January is a season of uh, four seasons. And in November, there is a November first is a week uh, where uh, we celebrate our separate, uh, uh, foundation. And in every year, uh, we'll have a Sophia festival in the first week of November. And this is a this. Yes. This picture is oh, uh, this one. Uh, this one is a decoration of the Christmas season. In Christmas season, uh, Sofia University will uh, make a light up on the campus or uh, this kind of decoration. And yeah, as I mentioned, uh, in the end of January, uh, you will have the exam season uh, for the fall semester. And in March, uh, there is a graduation ceremony. It's a very brief view of four seasons at Sofia campus. Second point, uh, Sofia University is one of Japan's top private universities and founded uh, by uh, Catholic and also the oldest Catholic universities in Japan. As I'm not sure if you have known, but uh, Sofia University was well founded by Jesuit. Uh, Jesuit is uh, very key to nurture the, 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 the um, very, spend a lot of energy for education in, in various parts of the world. And the education motto of our universities is for others, with others. So uh, we try like to nurture the person who can use the skills, expertise, experiences, not only for themselves, but also for others. And to work with, to be with, to respect others. 
So uh, this is our uh, educational motto uh, to, to, make, uh, to nurture such kind of people and to contribute to the uh, world. Uh, Sofia University has a high reputation, not only in Japan, but in the various parts of the world. Uh, because of the uh, alumni of Sofia University and also faculty members who are uh, university itself uh, play a very important role in the various parts of the world. And we have a close tie with the uh, Catholic Society or UN or various uh, international organizations. Uh, because of that, uh, as you know, as you can identify, uh, we uh, welcome uh, Pope Francis in three years ago, three or four years ago, and also uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations who are other important persons from uh, various parts of the world. So on campus, uh, you may have such a chance to meet with these important persons uh, from various parts of the world. And also, uh, we have the UN Weeks and Africa Weeks. Uh, UN Weeks uh, the twice in, in each year, and in one or two weeks, uh, we have a various events uh, welcoming uh, various speakers from international organizations, the universities, or industries, and discuss the current hot issues in international society. And also, in Africa Weeks, uh, we will focus on Africa and uh, discuss various issues in Africa. So uh, on this campus, uh, you can experience or learn about various parts of the world without going to other countries, uh, without, even without traveling. Third, rich educational programs. And the the number, of, number of undergraduate students is about 12,000. And we have about five, uh, 560 professors. It means that for one professor, we have about 20 students. It means that if you want, you could create close relationship with your professors, of course, if you want. So I hope that uh, at Sofia University, uh, you will use such a kind of chance if you uh, try to communicate actively with professors, professors will respond to you. Also, uh, we offer a uh, lot of uh, foreign language programs. So, uh, because that this is an English taught program session, so uh, many of you have an intention to study in English at universities. So, from such a viewpoint, I'm sure that Sofia University could offer uh, plenty of English taught programs for you uh, to satisfy your expectation. And please remember that university is not the final stage of your learning. For, your, for all of your life, you continue to learn. So we think that it is very important for you to build a solid foundation for your continuing learning for your life. So uh, we introduce a new basic idea, basic framework of learning. Um, so in the second part, it says introduction of self-learning portfolio. It means that we provide the tools for you students to manage your own learning process. And you can choose what you, you can first you can identify the goal or ideal. And then uh, you will choose what you should learn from your university days and manage and such kind of learning process by yourself. And this chart shows three elements of the important line. The first one is general education. General education means the basics of every student has to take uh, the, this basic education. It means that uh, if you, for example, uh, I come from law faculty, so if you want to, uh, if you enter into a law faculty, probably you expect that, oh, I need to study law. However, it is insufficient. 
we think that uh, university students, all university students, also have to have a basic learning, such as the humanities, or philosophies, histories, or data sciences, such a kind of basic element, basic uh, content must be learned by every student. So this is a general learning. Also, uh, we have language education. Language is very important for you to go abroad and you know, to be active in the international world. Language skills is very important. So uh, I will explain a bit more about detail, but uh, we have very rich in language uh, training programs. And also, uh, of course, uh, we have the special, specialized education, such as economics, law, science and technology, international business. Uh, this is, a, uh, I think that uh, you, are, you are considering what kind of measure you would like to choose. So, uh, in university days, these three elements, general education, specialized education, and language education, all these three are very important. And we think that this combination of these three, education or learning, will make the foundation of your, uh, a very solid foundation for your continued learning. And we have nine undergraduate faculties, and we have three programs which are fully taught in English. But uh, regarding these three fully taught in English programs, uh, we will have more detailed explanation by the professors from each, uh, each program. But uh, please make, uh, I would like to stress that not only these three programs, but other faculties offer various English programs. For example, from law faculties, uh, we provide a negotiation course in English or the comparative uh, study of Japanese law. So uh, if you are interested in uh, not only the course English programs uh, offered by FLA or FST or so these kind of these three programs, but also uh, you may take uh, English courses offered by other faculties. Uh, these are three faculties, and as I mentioned, uh, more detailed explanation will be made uh, by each faculty member from each group. Fourth point, highly international campus. In campus, uh, we have uh, students from 99 countries, and about uh, 1,900 students. And one-six of our faculty members come from various universities. So again, also from such viewpoint, from the viewpoint of a constituent, uh, if you want, uh, you may experience the world itself on, on this campus. So you may communicate uh, with uh, uh, friends from other countries, or you may talk with uh, faculty members from various countries. So please use this circumstance. And also, the, uh, the fifth point, uh, extensive international academic network. Now, uh, Sofia universities have uh, some um, agreement, network agreement, uh, with uh, 401 partners from 87 year, uh, countries. So this uh, great network make it possible to enrich the students' mobility programs, or we may offer various international programs uh, uh, in collaboration with foreign universities. For example, um, I said that I just came from this one. But in this one, uh, there was a summer school of uh, seven, uh, uh, hosted by uh, the university in this one. But in that in, uh, summer school, the students from the US or Chile or Spain or Portugal participated in and we, I participated in. So uh, this great network offer uh, lots of learning opportunities. Uh, with for, uh, students from foreign countries. And also, uh, we offer various international learning pro programs, long-term programs, for example, semester or year length, uh, study abroad programs, or short-term programs, or two weeks or three weeks short-term programs. 
or uh, social engagement programs. So I think that many of you have some experience uh, living in other countries or studying in other countries. But Sofia University could offer you the learning opportunity, almost a five continent uh, in the US, Asia, Australia, South America, Africa. We have lots of programs. So if you want, you can use such kind of learning opportunity. High quality learning, uh, language education. Language is, educated, is important. As this slide shows, uh, we have rich English, uh, no, that rich Japanese programs uh, based on the level of Japanese. And also, uh, we offer uh, 22 language programs. In the current days, English, uh, English is very important, but English is not sufficient. If, uh, in addition to English or for example, Japanese, uh, if you could spend sort of the French or Spanish or Germany in language, it will make your international life richer. So we expect uh, you to must you will master not only your home language and uh, and English, but also additional languages. And Sofia University could offer such kind of opportunities. The finally uh, affordable tuition. Uh, uh, some of you uh, may consider studying in abroad, but uh, compared to the tuition fee of the U.S. universities or European universities, uh, Japanese university tuition fees are at least at, at this stage more modest. So, um, uh, with reasonable tuition fee, I, as I mentioned before, uh, Sofia University could offer you uh, a very attractive student life at a convenient location, and we could offer very rich learning experience to you. So, uh, thank you very much, and I expect that, uh, and I hope that uh, you will enjoy the rest of the day and get uh, various information about Sofia University. Thank you very much.